Welcome to this cephalometric tracing tutorial. Make sure to use a sharp pencil. Visualize the anatomy before you start tracing. Use continuous lines rather than sketching. Trace cella tersica then continue backwards and downwards towards the anterior rim of foramen magnum. Continue forward and upwards tracing the greater wing of sphenoid bone. Trace the rest of the anterior cranial base anterior to cella. These two lines represent the creeriform plate of ethmoid bone and the roof of the orbital socket. Trace the orbit. Trace frontal bone curving inwards along the frontal sinus. Trace nasal bone. Trace the maxilla starting at anterior nasal spine and moving backwards towards posterior nasal spine. The pterygo maxillary fissure usually points at the posterior limit of the maxilla. Trace the anterior curvature of the maxilla starting at ANS and curving backwards and downwards towards the CEJ of upper incisors. Trace the palate starting at PNS and moving forward to end at the palatal CEJ of upper incisors. Remember, always trace cortical bone outlines paying respect to anatomy. Trace the symphysis of the mandible. Trace both outer and inner cortical outlines of the symphysis. Remember, this is an important superimposition landmark. Trace the outline of the lower border of the mandible. There are usually two outlines indicating the right and left sides of the patient. You will also have to find the intermediate outline for your measurements and indicate it with a dashed line. Trace the ramus outlines ending at the cranial base. If the condyle is visible, trace it as well. Trace the upper and lower incisors as well as the upper and lower first molars. You may also use templates or stencils to get a nice drawing. Having a dental cast on hand helps in identifying molar relationship. Trace the pterygo maxillary fissure which looks like an upside down teardrop. Trace anatomic porion which usually lies just above and behind the ear rod. Trace the soft tissue profile starting above soft tissue labella and moving down along the nose and upper lip. Trace the lower lip and chin as well. You may add other optional structures to your tracing to make it look nicer, like tracing the vertebrae, key ridge, and nares. You may now start marking your landmarks. Mark cella at the middle of the cella tersica concavity and mark it with an S. Mark nasian at the nasum maxillary suture and mark it with an N. Mark ANS.
mark a point at the deepest point of the anterior curvature of the maxilla mark b point at the deepest point of the anterior curvature of the symphysis mark pagonian which is the anterior most point of the bony chin mark menton which is the inferior most point Nathaon is between Paganian and Menton. Mark anatomic gonion, which is at the midpoint of the curvature of the angle of the mandible. Mark PNS, which is usually just below the pointed end of PTM. Mark orbit L at the lower part of the outline of the orbit. Mark porion at the top edge of the outline of anatomic porion. You may also mark articulaire at the intersection of the ramus tracing and cranial base tracing. Although we are not using it in any measurement at KUTC, there are analyses that use it. You may know proceed to draw your reference lines. Remember this is a simplified cephalometric analysis and by no means includes all available analyses.